Happy birthday, America! Today is July 4th on the PCT. And uh, we are right now uh, just about 10 miles away from the uh, uh, Tuolumne Meadows. I never know how to pronounce that word. Tuolumne Meadows? Tuolumne. Uh, anyway, however, uh, campground and store. And even though they are closed, um, actually they're closed all summer long due to the COVID uh, virus thing. Um, they do have a shuttle that goes through there once or twice a day. So we're planning to pick the shuttle up there at 5.50 this afternoon, ride it into Lee Vining, where we will celebrate the 4th of July, I guess. Woohoo! So anyway, beautiful hike, beautiful day. I don't think I've seen a cloud in a week. So I got a creek crossing right here. So I better put my camera away so I don't drop it in the creek when I fall in. Okay, we're heading to Tuolumne Meadows here. And we ran into this very, very friendly group of uh, JMT hikers that we uh, we uh, stopped and talked to a little bit about our trip, our, uh, our our adventure that we're on. And I had to get a picture of the leg. There, yeah, she was. Just, uh, she's a she's a nurse. Very excited to see my uh, my my scars and wounds, which is uh, which is fine with me. I'm always. I'll be so shy about that. I wouldn't be wearing a kilt right now. But, <laughs> but uh, it was great meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. Enjoy the rest of your hike. It's I'm uh, Diana. This is Alex. Keith. And where are you guys from? I'm All from over. Mesa. Okay. She's from, I'm living in Fresno now. Fresno. Okay. Well, it was a pleasure running into you guys. Thank you guys. It's so nice yeah. meeting you. And uh, leave a comment if you find our YouTube. Oh, just leave a For comment sure. and say hi. Will do. And uh, hopefully you can follow us all the way to Canada. Awesome. <laughs> all right. I'm originally Canadian. Well, here's our very first view of Tolone Meadows. Really pretty out here. Nice, broad, grassy plain. There's a beautiful little stream on the other side. I'll show you more of that later. Looks like a trout fisherman's dream. Well, here's a close-up of the Tolone River, or stream, I guess. I don't know what it is, but... Man, look at that. It's just clear as can be. It's like a swimming pool. I've got polarized glasses on, so maybe I can see into it a little bit better than the camera can, but it looks amazing. I don't know if I want to throw a hook in there and try to catch a fish or just take off my clothes and jump in there and swim. <laughs> Either way, it looks awesome. Beautiful river. Well, Goldilocks has made a discovery. What have you discovered? Fish like cheese. Fish like cheese, huh? Mm. Hmm. Let's uh let's see that again. Go ahead. Yep, looks like they like it. Yep. They like cheese.
Well, I'm just walking along here thinking about deep thoughts <laughs> because uh, let's face it, when you're hiking all day long, that's pretty much the only thing you have to do is just think and think and think. Inconceivable! But uh, the thought that I had was, I was thinking about it, today is July 4th. I realized, wow, I am three and a half months into my PCT through hike. Three and a half months. But the really shocking part is that I potentially have three and a half months left to go before I'm finished. In other words, after three and a half months of walking and walking and walking, covering hundreds of miles, I'm barely halfway. And I compare that to other other things I've done in my life. Um, maybe you guys can relate. Let's imagine that you wanted to go to Hawaii. And for a couple of years, you were planning to go to Hawaii, saving money, uh, researching itineraries, hotels, all, all that kind of stuff you do when you're planning a vacation. The thing is, most vacations last 10 days, maybe two weeks. They're over almost before you have a chance to realize they've begun. That's happened to me so many times in every other aspect of my life. Things that I've been really excited about, anticipated, sometimes for years. And the event comes, and before I know it, it's gone. The PCT is the one experience I can say is not like that. Um, you know, a through hike that's five months, six months, potentially seven months. Wow. <laughs> I mean, uh, this is... This is the kind of experience you have that isn't over in a day or a week or even a month. And uh, it's really it's really having an impact. I mean, I can feel it changing me as a person, my outlook on life, my thoughts, my priorities, uh, lot, lots and lots of things. So a very positive experience. And I can only imagine where I'm going to be three and a half months from now. So... Anyway, just thought I'd share that thought with you guys. Well, there's the Tolomini Meadows Ranger Station. And judging by all the vehicles parked in front of it, I'm guessing they're probably uh, having a meeting inside. I've been hiking really hard for the past several hours. Um, Goldie and I are trying desperately to get to um, Tolomini Meadows, the actual kind of... Uh, the center where the campground is and post office and general store so that we can catch the shuttle into Lee Vining. I think I, I've said before that we have to go into Lee Vining for resupply. But what I failed to say is that the reason we have to do that is because uh, Tolomini Meadows, Tolomini Meadows, however, um, the store and post office both there are closed due to the virus outbreak. Normally, uh, in a normal year, we would simply have sent our resupply packages to the post office, picked it up, and kept on plowing to the north. But uh, this year, that's not an option. So it's going to take us off trail for another day and a half or so to have to go back to the little town of Lee Vining, which is only about 15 miles away, but we have to catch a shuttle there or hitchhike. And... Uh, you know, resupply there in the local store. We do have a package we sent to ourselves from Mammoth that has some resupply stuff in it. And then catch the shuttle back out here to restart our hike north. So, minor inconvenience, but it's all part of the challenge. <laughs>